I was just thinking about games and gamer life and to be honest the sad truth about life is that games were more fun when you were younger uh, I just watched Asmon Gold this is one of the few youtubers I watch and there and he was watching video about how games were more fun in the past when you were younger and stuff like this and this is actually sad truth about adults life and that's why why I'm so unhappy quite often as a gamer after when all family members go to sleep I'm trying to catch up with my inner child and find a game which will be the best for me to dive in and enjoy and the sad truth is having just two hours a day for myself it's hard to fulfill with something will give you the joy and the pleasure and fun like you had it when you were young and you were playing with your friends it's hard to find this niche this game which will fill you with joy and passion like before my wife will kill me for it but I spend a lot of money every month for buying games which I don't actually play I got a few genres or maybe themes which I like in games like let's say Vikings fantasy games Star Wars of course I will spend some money every month to find a game which will keep me playing with this pure untouched childish pleasure but it's hard if you grow you grow older you've got different chores to do you've got different responsibilities it's hard and as a gamer as a customer I'm quite cruel it will take me two three minutes or five minutes or I just need to look at something to decide if this will appeal to me or not if I will find this interesting or not sometimes I prove myself wrong and if I will spend a little more time about in into something I'll find it more interesting than I thought it will be that will happen with those three games which I'm gonna tell you now from my point of view so don't get offended if I will say something which will not line up with your point of view right Lost Ark we were we were we've been waiting for Lost Ark for years yeah I've been waiting for Lost Ark maybe a year when, since I find out about this game we've tried the Russian server and then uh, I didn't I didn't enjoy it at all so we decided with my friends to wait and uh, to wait for e European premiere and to play this game because we were suffering from lack of World of Warcraft if, in our lives <laughs> when the Lost Ark was released I was able to play this game maybe for three days one of the biggest disappointments was the graphics graphic is good that's not the problem but the style is problem for me why the every game from Asia look the same I was able to swallow it when I was playing Castlevania I was able to swallow it when I was playing Devil May Cry but everything else Final Fantasy Lost Ark got the same style and graphic which is fucking boring and maybe appealing to sexually disorientated and confused teenagers there's nothing original there there's nothing to attract me so in the background well, I'm playing now my gameplay on Lost Ark which took me maybe an hour and through that hour I was talking to my brother through WhatsApp on video chat and I, I switch off sound I didn't read quest logs I was just clicking killing clicking killing because it's so fucking boring but I was trying to play and try to enjoy it the story is not appealing to me at all and the graphics is the biggest killer for me because it's boring if you're able to focus on the game dive into the story fine if you're just playing for mythic to to get the, be the best damage the best score the best armor great for you but me having my just two hours per day for game this is just fucking killer I, I can't focus I will come across maybe a sad and grumpy and a boomer but this is a major killer for me and I will never play Lost Ark again because I can't push myself through this next is Diablo Immortal again I don't know even where to start the YouTube is full of videos why people have negative point of view why people have negative experience with this game I have to say that I was playing this game on mobile for a few minutes but I'm not a mobile player I don't play games on mobile if I have got time to play I play on console or PC tried Diablo Immortal on PC and to be honest it's not that bad if you if you're gonna treat this game as a free game it's fine graphic is okay you can see that this conversion from mobile to PC is not even perfect if Blizzard could delegate this game uh, development for PC to third party probably the job will be better done than this now I don't find attractive 
to spend time on game where without paying some money I will get just a certain level and again on Asma Gold channel it talks about some people who spend $40,000 for Diablo Immortal to get a better loot can you imagine $40,000 let's let's say I'm not gonna convert let's say it's 30,000 pounds you can buy a proper car here in England for this kind of money and you're spending $40,000 for digital stuff which can be taken from you tomorrow how fuck is this someone spent a $100,000 on the game just to check if the game is okay what actual fuck it's something which kills my brain I can't even comprehend I can't even imagine spending this kind of money on fucking game just to check if I will enjoy it. Don't mention I will never spend this kind of money. I will never spend a thousand pounds on a game which I love. Maybe I spend on Warcraft through last 20 years, but that's a different story. That's why I've played Diablo. I've enjoyed it. That's it. I'm not gonna play it because I'm not gonna pay this kind of money and I'm not gonna waste time just to stop at some level and not be able to progress further because I have to pay money. So this sad rant brings us to third game which surprised me positively yeah no one told me about this v rising game and one day i just opened email and, and i saw uh, email from steam about v rising and um, i was always big fan of vampires werewolves dracula classic horror stories like this so when i saw v rising diablo like game in a uh, vampire environment and um, vampire world that was first thing which attracted me to the game i said wait wait it's uh, it's early stage early access 15 pounds is nothing it's just a 15 pounds i spend more for a week for fast foods <laughs> as you can see so anyway so yeah let's let's try it and i told my friends we all almost together buying games for my for ourselves to play online but this time i was there only one fall to buy this game and no one from my friends bought it so i can't play with anyone but this game even though it's not perfect yet and graphic maybe is not that awesome but it is for me for me remember this is about my point of view i've enjoyed it so you you're creating your vampire and basically you, you play like you play diablo that you can build your own castle i bet it must be nice to play with someone else you can craft stuff you can build your castle i didn't expect this kind of game i found it by mistake and i really enjoyed it it's right in my alley vampires diablo like game i haven't found any microtransactions yet <laughs> Uh, it's a survival game, but it's not like hardcore survival game. You can play on PvP servers or you can play on PvE servers. World is quite huge. You can play up to four players on, in the co-op mode. Unfortunately, I've got no one playing with me because my friends, they just didn't give a fuck about this game, which is sad. I like this vampire placement, this play vampire world, which is appealing for me. That's why, mainly that's why I bought this game, because it was about vampires in Diablo-like game. It put maybe two hours in that game so far, but I know that you can travel around the world and kill bosses, and every boss will drop you some unique superpowers! So if you're gonna kill a werewolf-like boss you can you can change yourself in a wolf or werewolf you will kill someone with special weapon you can use that weapon later which is nice like i said it's a little bit less hardcore survival game for maybe beginners which is perfect for me the only thing i miss in that game is friends friends i need friends to play with me i'm disappointed that chris and mario are not bothered with that game which is sad because like I said, it's my sweet spot. A coffins, vampires, ghouls, werewolves, castles, night, day, sucking blood. I, I want, want to drink, drink your blood. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I am, I'm, I'm, I am a psycho, yeah, I know. Uh, that's, that's problem with being trapped in dad's body. When actually you are a kid still and you want to play. You wanna have fun. Anyway, one of the coolest things in the game and something new which I never found in other games is like when there's a day so you can burn in sunlight, you have to hide and avoid the sunlight, you have to collect hearts and drink blood to keep you alive. But also when you will drink blood from the bosses, you will get different abilities. If you're gonna drink blood from normal enemies like 
warriors you will get different stats from brutes you will get different stats so the blood quality will rise up and a level in some some in some point in some way so it, the the blood quality will level so this is something new and quite interesting so is you need to focus on a few things but it's not so hardcore survival game like other games you can enjoy it on decent level without putting too much stress in it as i said v rising is a game for me and i'm gonna play all i need to find is friends if you play in that game and if you're in europe because you will have roughly the same time text me through my maybe instagram or leave a comment below and maybe i will find someone who will play and enjoy this game with me yeah okay this is the end, I need to finish, I need to go and pick up my kids from school, do some shopping, cleaning, cooking. I hope you enjoyed it, if you didn't enjoy it, ah fuck it, leave the comment as well. Tell me I'm suck or whatever, just leave a mark, leave something after you. Yeah, alright, okay, I'm going, I'm going. See you later, see you later, live long and prosper.